Mom. We are a week in the San Antonio Stock Show Rodeo besides the usual competitions and events you might expect. There's some other events you might not know about. David Sears joins us live this morning to tell us about the agrobotics contest happening today. Good morning, David. I'm going to tell you guys, this is fascinating. It's something else. You see a bunch of kids right here. We are actually in the cattle barn. What you don't see is any cattle. It's all kids because they're all preparing to build robots. Yes, there is a relationship between technology and agri-science. And here to talk a little bit about that is Tamara McCoy. She's one of the co-sponsors of this event. Let's talk about this. These kids are building robots. What does that have to do with cows and pigs and horses? Well, actually, it has a lot to do with it because we're wanting to connect our food and fiber to technology. So we have kids that come from rural environments, and we want them to have an understanding of how technology can increase production and be better for our environment. But we also have inner city kids that know nothing about where our food production comes from. And they are drawn in to learn about it through technology so they have a better understanding of where their food and fiber comes from. So today they're building robots that they're going to land on the moon and harvest food. Is that right? So, so tell me a little bit about how this competition works. So right now we have kids from all over Texas that have come in. Some of them have started working on their robot in September with some of the challenges, but today we release three new challenges they've never heard of. For the next hour and a half, they will actually work to program and build their robot, and then the real fun begins because they will get three-minute challenges to see how many points they can score. This is, guys, this is, this is fascinating, and this is Tenley. She's a, a sixth grader, and you've been doing this for a couple years. What's so fascinating about this? What's so exciting about building these robots? Um, I thought the when I first saw this, I was like, wow, the robots are moving themselves. How does that happen? But it's programming. And now you got to build one to land on the moon and harvest food. Is that right? Yeah. So give me a, like one of the ideas that you've already thought about doing. Um, so far, we have thought about um, doing the magnet on the... Stocking. Oh, the docking cell, okay. And we're not doing the three tiered um, okay. because it just sounds too hard. And we're probably going to do the plants. So you so you got to build something to harvest all the plants yeah. on the moon. Thanks, Tenley. Good luck. This, this is fascinating stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. It's the education, real quick, just a couple of seconds. Sure. How important is this education, the relationship between technology and where we get our food and, and agri-science? It's very important because more and more we are becoming dependent on technology to do our food and fiber. So we need youth to understand that dynamic relationship and not be terrified of the new practices, but being able to embrace them and be able to do things in an effective manner. Thank you so much. What a great program. And high school kids are actually in, in competition for scholarships. We're going to over, go over there and check them out here in the next half hour and see how they're doing over there and talk to, talk to one of the high school guys over there, our ladies over there. It's, this is fantastic. This is fascinating. You know, modern technology is the future. Might as well embrace it and get ready for it, guys. Back to you. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.